and welcome to my channel or welcome back. My name is Mara and today we're going to be doing week 11 reaction video for Strictly Come Dancing Musicals Week. Lovely shapes here. Oh wow, she literally just floats, isn't she? Oh, there was a little bit of a like collision of bodies, right? Not a good way to start a dance. To watch, maybe she slipped actually. Beautiful, beautiful. Good attempt at hip motion here. Smooth, really smooth. Oh, not so much here. That's nice, that's nice. The timing at the start of this is not was not quite there. I didn't like that as a choreography piece, so I don't think it did particularly good for him. He doesn't look like he's having a good time. Are you okay? Pigeon toast there as well. Those are good. Beautiful lines, really beautiful lines. There was something, um, I would say sad about that. Maybe just because I, I find the film sad, but there was something quite sad about that. Hmm. What did they get? Nine, 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 nine. Okay. So not that bad, not that bad score. As such a big fan of Hamza, this beautiful man is not a performer, no acting or singing credentials, but comes out every week and does brilliantly. I do think it was the wrong choice for a samba, but through the wonderful Joe Eater's choreography, they made it happen, voted for them as always. I hope they get to the semi-finals. I absolutely adore this song, and it's a real shame this cover wasn't more impactful like the original version, because it probably would have fitted the dance a lot better and blown everyone away. But this is a dance contest, not a singing contest, and Hamza and Joe Eater's routine was beautiful. I really love this too. Watching Hamza give it's all on the dance floor every week brings me real joy. So it was it was a nice it was a nice performance. I just it was a bit sad. Yeah, someone said it was really moving, so maybe that's it, that's the word that I'm looking for. Um they deserve some tens, uh full of amazing dancers. Yeah. It was a beautiful dance. Wonderful first time a samba has made me cry for the right reasons that is. See, so there is something there was something, maybe that's what they were trying to do. I don't know, it was very different. The choreography, she did a good job with the choreography, because that's a hard song. It doesn't lend itself to that high energy samba, but she actually did a good job of choreographing to that. And he did execute it. His dancing, his moves, his the way he moves, the lines were all beautiful. So I would give that a nine as well. Um maybe even a ten to be honest. No, actually, there was a couple of stumbles, weren't there? Um, and a couple of motions that weren't quite right. So, yes, a uh, nine, nine would be good. We're going to move on to Helen and Gorka, who came second top. They are suddenly doing very well uh, week after week. So, let's have a look. We're looking at the couple's choice here. Okay. A tiger is a tiger, not a lamb, my dear. Never turn the vinegar to nice. I am looking at her only in the Wales, which is nice. Nice, good acting. Okay, screams in the audience. So far, it's been perfect. This is 
so good. This could literally be in a film and I wouldn't bat an eyelid. Or be on stage in cabaret. Wouldn't bat. Wouldn't bat an eyelid. <laughs> the backup dancer made a mistake there. I feel like in this Gorka is literally just a prop, which is not a bad thing. Again, it's so good to showcase your celebrity dancer. Um, and he has done that. He is unfortunately a prop. But she is shiny. She literally does not need him right now. This could be a solo performance and she'd be doing a great job anyway. Anyone see Gorka? <laughs> no, I'm 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 really happy with that. I love that. I thought that was great. If you can make your celebrity shine that much, you give her the right choreography, you give her the right training, um, you spend the right, right amount of time practicing, you give them the the personality shines through. You don't need a professional dancer. Did a great job. That was like a ten out of ten, right? What do they get? Nine, ten, 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 ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Right, this is all about Helen. Yes, Gorka was so clever with the choreography to step back here and really make her shine. And what a way to do it too. Helen was utterly brilliant. What a strong, powerful, confident and defiant performance. This is definitely one of those iconic Strictly dances everyone will remember and talk about for years to come. Despite not getting a 40, which she deserved, Helen is the true winner here for sure. For sure. Toodaloo. I was screaming go go at the screen, two fingers up to the past, love love, loved every second. Fair play to Gorka in a corset too. I didn't even notice he was in a corset. It was amazing. That was... It was so good. That was so good. That should have been top. It, it, I feel like Will Miller cannot top that, despite being top of the leaderboard. So his better be absolutely fantastic, because that, for me, was 10 out of 10, perfect. If Will's is not 10 out of 10 perfect and makes me feel a certain way, I'm not going to be happy. So we're going to move on. Kim Marsh and Graziano. They're doing a cha-cha-cha to fame, from fame. Um, cha-cha-cha, she came bottom of the leaderboard. So let's have a look how much, yeah, so she got eight, nine, nine, eight. She looks great. So does he. Good attempt at straight legs, but the cha cha motions not was not quite there. It's almost like everything's there and energy's there, and then as soon as she starts doing some cha cha steps, it's like her legs aren't embodying the same energy as the music, her face, her body, the rest of her body. There just isn't the cleanness and sharpness that you want in her legs. Right, I'm not going to comment on this because it's not Chacha. Yeah. Like those lock steps and stuff, you need a bit of sharpness, a little bit more... Um, Hip action, uh, even the footwork's not quite right. Very wide with that um, New York there. Rondo's not bad though. Good timing, very nice. There is an attempt at straight legs, right? So she is actually going it. It's not like she's walking around with bent legs. So there is credit due there. Yeah, 
Yeah, no, not my favourite. Um, how much less did she get than Hamza? Only two points less than Hamza. Um, I think, it, mm, yeah, definitely not nines. Definitely not nines. Seven or eight for me. Um, seven and a half. Let's see what the comments are saying. Um, so judges scores here. Amazing routine. Well done, Graziano. The dance fitted her like a glove. Well done to Graz. I love now. I love now he let her be the main feature. She got all three of my votes tonight, especially after a lot of bullying last week. Oh, bless her. I, yes, I would have liked more hip action, but apart from that, I thought it was good and she was definitely undermarked. A great tribute to fame and Irene. I really hope they get through. Her best by a mile. She's come on, really come on since week one, so has Will. As I, but as I have pointed out in past years, the public vote tends to go towards people who missed a week through illness. Unfortunately, I'm now limited to a maximum bet of £10 per the bookmakers. Absolutely love this. So, Meredith Grace says, Kim, Marsh and Graziano de Prima. Next, dancing a cha-cha-cha. Great to have Kim and Graziano back after last week, and it looks like Kim is fighting fit with this dance. Yes, a lot of technical work. Good for me, though. I felt like Kim was walking most of this dance, though, rather than dancing it. Yes, which, for me, is not the best thing to do. Yeah, it's, yeah she was. She really, 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 really was. Um, and on that note, we're going to move on to Will and Nancy, and they're dancing the Foxtrot. They were top of the week. They got 39, so almost 40. Let's see. I always think that they do like have really good dance chemistry together. They do work really well together. I did just get a little bit of goosebumps. I feel like I don't want to like this dance. Let's look at the footwork. Good hook heel releases there. Good top line. Nice, yeah, was, okay, heel turns there. Really good footwork, Will, really good. Yeah, it's good, it's good. No gapping issues. Frame looks good. Doing all the steps. Fair play. It's over already, that seemed pretty short. Um, okay, fine, fine, yes. As good as Helen's. So you can have the 40 out of 40 for me too. <laughs> oh, Will, a beautiful ballroom just like his waltz. So well done. The storytelling that truly embodied Miss Sagan. I loved it. Wow, his best dance tonight was incredible. 10 out of 10. Yes, I love these slower romantic dances. Brilliant. Understand. Understated beauty. Gorgeous. No need for extra dances. It was pure gorgeousness. Good job, Will. A 9 from me. Nine from Jamie Davy says, okay, I absolutely loved the storytelling, but I did notice Will's frame being slightly off to his right hand, not properly being on Nancy's shoulder blades. However, he was light on his feet and it was full of elegance. It was good. It was really, really good. Okay, we're going to leave this video there. If you want to watch more reaction videos, they're going to pop up over here. I also have some film-based, uh, not film-based, TV show-based uh, reaction videos here. Also still on dancing, but obviously not the same sort of critical ballroom Latin style video. Um, if you liked this video, please like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos. And I will see you in one of these ones over there. Bye.